Welcome to Classic Klondike Solitaire. We are playing draw three, and at the end of a game, going to show you a common mistake that is made uh, toward the end of a game, or even during a game, and that is that this draw pile right here has seven cards. There's the first three cards. There's the second three cards. And, of course, the last card is the six of spades. The mistake that gets made is we're going to go back to the start of the draw pile again to take a look. If you look at this draw pile, you can play this card. You can play this card. You can play this card. So why is that a mistake? Well, the reason is this next set of cards resets. We can't play this card. We can play this card, but we still can't play this card. So we can go back and forth. And, you know, okay, it's not going to end the game until we put a bunch of cards up. So we'll put a bunch of cards up top. And uh, now we're getting a little stuck here. But we'll keep working our way up top, right? Let's see what else is there. Actually, let's just try this again. And there's still a move here. So let me see if we find it here in the nine of spades. And I think that might be it. So we're going to go back again and again. And, oh, we're out of moves, right? No, we're not out of moves. We just made a bad move with the draw pile. So I'm going to back up here and show you exactly what went wrong. So let's go back to the very, very start. Okay. This was our draw pile. We had these three cards, these three cards, and of course the six of spades. This is the mistake that's made that I was trying to explain. If we pull one card there, it's going to bring this card down, this ten of spades. If instead of pulling one card, we were to play, let's say, this card and this card, the next card that would show up is the five of clubs. If we play all three cards, the nine of diamonds is the next card that shows up. So the mistake that is made a lot of the times is at the very bottom of the draw pile, all three of these cards get played. And then that leaves us with this. Sometimes, you know, if all these cards can be played, that's not a problem. Sometimes it is. What we're doing is we're taking away moves that we could have had. So in this circumstance right here, our best move is we want this 10 of spades right here. We want that down. Because it can go underneath the, the jack of hearts. So what we need to do is go, let's go back to the very start here. We only want to play this one card. And the thing is, if we can already play these cards, we can we can play this card later. What's going to happen is this Ten of Spades is going to drop down, so we still have the option to play it. But we won't be stuck with three cards that we can't move up top. So, okay, we cycle through. We're going to start the draw pile over again, right here. Now we can play this Ten of Spades. And then the question is, which one is next? Oh, that's a five of clubs. We're only going to play the ton of spades. We're not going to play these other two cards because we can. What we're trying to do is work down the straw pile to nothing and then move this card out and then solving it. So we cycle through again. And now, now our first option is the five of clubs. We'll play that. And we're, what we'd like to do is drop this Knight of Diamonds, which is going to be next. So we're going to go through again. Now we start over. Knight of Diamonds should be the first card. There it is. All right. Now we can play this Eight of Spades down here. And the Six of Diamonds goes up top. This card goes down. This card goes down right here. And uh, we pretty much solve the puzzle. Now, 
we could not have done that if we'd have played all three of those cards at the start. So that is a big mistake that uh, is pretty common. And if we can figure out ways to avoid that or change our, our thinking in the draw three game, we're going to have much better odds of solving uh, these type of situations. And of course, that's going to wrap this up. Thank you for watching and good luck.